Depletion of a healthy ocean. The destruction humans cause on our oceans locally and around the globe. The following project will be focused on the destruction humans cause on our oceans locally and around the globe. There is enough statistical evidence that shows that pollution is getting worse in our oceans. This has causes on the ecosystem within it and it greatly backfires on the human race. We gain so much from the ocean and we are destroying what we already have. This project will also focus on the development and process of overcoming this global issue and everything else that goes into it. Now I will do a rundown of any definitions that we will run into during this project. The term ocean is defined as the water that surrounds our land that we use to benefit our ways of living. Pollution is the process of our trash and waste ending up in the ocean while it harms the nature of it. Plastic is the main problem of pollution in our oceans because it's the hardest substance to break down. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic broken down by waves of the ocean that end up in the sand and water which eventually affects the animals that live in the ocean. Environment is the life that lives in the ocean. An ecosystem is the living organisms that live in these oceans that are being affected by our pollution. Runoff is the pollution water that drains straight into the ocean. Reefs are the homes to many animals and pollution is destroying these reefs and wiping the population of them. Viruses are created by pollution and are put into the water and these viruses affect the ecosystem. And lastly, beaches are the gateways to the oceans and many of these beaches are where pollution starts. Starting with a hypothesis, based on the analysis and research of the problem of pollution, the problem continues to grow. Every day more pollution is created and this problem can be helped, but not stopped entirely. If everyone were to contribute by participating in cleanups and thinking of alternatives to plastic use, then we have a chance at saving our oceans that we cherish and need in our lives. On a micro analysis, ocean pollution is greatly seen in Oahu. Urban Honolulu creates an abundance of resources being used per day. These resources turn to pollution and not all of it is disposed of correctly. Oahu is the most populated island out of the rest of the Hawaiian Islands, which means Oahu pr produces the most waste. Some of the pollution issues Oahu struggles with the most is microplastics and waste ending up in the ocean and sunscreen destroying the reefs. In the MISO level of Hawaii, our oceans are greatly impacted by humans. An estimate of 15 to 20 tons of marine trash wash up on the beaches of all the Hawaiian Islands. Not only are these iconic beaches being affected, but marine species such as the Hawaiian monk seal, Hawaiian green sea turtle, and spinner dolphins are being affected. On a macro analysis, ocean pollution greatly affects Hawaii, but it also affects the whole U.S. and the whole planet. We are polluting the ocean that we use to gain our natural resources from. The pollution we put in the ocean affects the communities we live in and how we sustain them. Every community has its challenges to the ocean pollution and their solutions. The states in the U.S. that mostly affect the ocean are the coastal ones, but Midland states also gain a role in participating because pollution can travel far. From a global perspective, the contributions to pollution are greatly affected. Our planet and actions need to be taken now or we would not be able to enjoy our oceans. On a personal level, this issue is significant because I enjoy the beach every day. I use it for my own good. I enjoy going in the water and being able to sail on the beach with no pollution around me. I also enjoy many things that come from the ocean like food. I want to make sure that food I'm eating is safe and healthy. On a social perspective, this is significant because not only myself enjoying the use of the ocean, but everyone in the entire world is using and relies on this ocean. Supporting evidence from a functionalist perspective, ocean pollution is made up of everyone in our population. We all have contribution to ocean pollution, whether it's the process of creating this pollution or being the one who helps with these problems by contributing to the problem. In regards to the conflict theory of ocean pollution, the role of limited resources leads to more pollution. The conflict is the people that drive to make the change by helping the oceans versus the people of the world who don't give a care about our situation and contribute to the pollution. From an interactionalist perspective, it is how the mind and body decides these problems of pollution. The mind wants to choose the easier alternative or the more convenient, but it takes the body to make the action of resisting the easier alternative by choosing a more eco-friendly decision. Methodology. I am primarily conducting an ethnographic research method 
due to the observations, personal interviews, and my volunteer experience. The CSL organization that I will be volunteering and conducting research is the Surfrider Foundation. The foundation was founded in 1984 in Malibu, California. Three Californian local, Tom Pratt, Lance Carson, and Glenn Hennings built this foundation after the chase for saving the ocean. Their main goal is to attain clean water and healthy beaches. They allow for volunteer donations and get involved in many other ways. They are problem solvers and get involved in any way they can benefit the ocean we enjoy. Hi, I'm Maria Lujan. I'm the campaign's coordinator for Surfrider Foundation Oahu. Surfrider Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to protecting the world's ocean, beaches, and waves for all people through a powerful activist network. Um, so I feel very strongly about plastic pollution. It is something that is very detrimental to the environment and marine ecosystems. Um, here in Hawaii, we see that on the east side, uh, we're flooded with microplastics and this is because of the different currents and waves that um, come to that side of the island and here on the south side and on the east side we see that a lot of the plastics at the beach um, are land-based so they come from the island. All right so ocean pollution is like a massive problem and the sad thing is is uh, a lot of corporations kind of like think that it's up to us to stop and curb ocean pollution but in reality that they're the ones that like are uh, polluting the ocean more than we ever could uh, so it's like an uphill battle and I'm not sure what we can do about it other than like automation and cleaning up the oceans from that way um, I hope we can find a solution soon but it's looking dire in conclusion, it is very important that we take action on the ocean and we rely on what we enjoy. My overall findings on a micro perspective offer a short course on schools on Oahu that briefly go over how to contribute to help the environment in our everyday lives and what causes the effects these can have. Create more volunteer trash pickups throughout the whole island and place more trash cans around Waikiki so it doesn't end up on the beach or ocean. On a MISO level, create stricter laws about littering, create an alternative disposal of the trash from the island, reduce vehicle energy. On a macro perspective, conserve water to prevent runoff from the streets into the ocean, reduce plastic use, and reduce pollutants.